Al Masjid and Nabawi Arabic El Masjid El Nabawi The Prophet's Mosque is a mosque established and originally built by the Islamic prophet Muhammad situated in the city of Medina in the Hejaz region of Saudi Arabia It was the third mosque built in the history of Islam and is now one of the largest mosques in the world It is the second holiest site in Islam after the Great Mosque in Mecca It is always open regardless of date or time the site was originally adjacent to Muhammad's house, he settled there after his migration from Mecca to Medina in 622. He shared in the heavy work of construction. The original mosque was an open-air building. The mosque served as a community center, a court, and a religious school. There was a raised platform for the people who taught the Quran. Subsequent Islamic rulers greatly expanded and decorated it. In 1909, it became the first place in the Arabian Peninsula to be provided with electrical lights. The mosque is under the control of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The mosque is located in what was traditionally the center of Medina, with many hotels and old markets nearby. It is a major pilgrimage site. Many pilgrims who perform the Hajj go on to Medina to visit the mosque, due to its connection to Muhammad. After an expansion during the reign of the Umayyad Caliph al-Walid I, it now incorporates the final resting place of Muhammad and the first two Rashidun Caliphs Abu Bakr and Umar. One of the most notable features of the site is the Green Dome in the southeast corner of the mosque, originally Aisha's house, where the tomb of Muhammad is located. In 1279, a wooden cupola was built over the tomb which was later rebuilt and renovated multiple times in late 15th century and once in 1817. The current dome was added in 1818 by the Ottoman Sultan Mahmud II, and it was first painted green in 1837, hence becoming known as the Green Dome. Topic: History. Topic: Early days. The mosque was built by Prophet Muhammad in 622 after his arrival in the city of Medina. Riding on a camel called Qaswa he arrived at the place where this mosque was built. The land was owned by Sahal and Sahail, partly as a place for drying dates, and at one end had been previously used as a burial ground. Refusing to accept the land as a gift, he bought the land and it took seven months to complete the construction of the mosque. It measured 30.5 meters times 35.62 meters 100.1 feet times 116.9 feet. The roof which was supported by palm trunks was made of beaten clay and palm leaves. It was at a height of 3.60 meters .8 feet. The three doors of the mosque were Bab al-Rama to the south, Bab al-Jibril to the west and Bab al-Nisa to the east. After the Battle of Kabar, the mosque was enlarged. The mosque extended for 47.32 meters .2 feet on each side and three rows of columns were built beside the west wall, which became the place of praying. The mosque remained unaltered during the reign of the first Rashidun Caliph Abu Bakr. The second Caliph Umar demolished all the houses around the mosque except that of Muhammad's wives to expand it. The new mosque's dimensions became 57.49 meters times 66.14 meters, 188.6 feet times 217.0 feet. Sun-dried mud bricks were used to construct the walls of the enclosure. Besides strewing pebbles on the floor, the roof's height was increased to 5.6 meters, 18 feet. Umar moreover constructed three more gates for entrance. He also added the al buteha for people to recite poetry. The third Caliph Uthman demolished the mosque in 649. Ten months were spent in building the new rectangular shaped mosque whose face was turned towards the Kaaba in Mecca. The new mosque measured 81.40 meters times 62.58 meters, 267.1 feet times 205.3 feet. The number of gates as well as their names remained the same. The enclosure walls were made of stones laid in mortar. The palm trunk columns were replaced by stone columns which were joined by iron clamps. Teakwood was used in reconstructing the ceiling. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle years In 707, Umayyad Caliph al-Walid ibn Abd al-Malik renovated the mosque. It took three years for the work to be completed. Raw materials were procured from the Byzantine Empire. 
The area of the mosque was increased from 5,094 sq meter of Uthman's time to 8,672 square meter. A wall was built to segregate the mosque and the houses of the wives of Prophet Muhammad. The mosque was reconstructed in a trapezoid shape with a length of 101.76 meters (333.9 feet). For the first time, porticos were built in the mosque connecting the northern part of the structure to the sanctuary. For the first time, minarets were built in Medina as he constructed four minarets around it. Abbasid Caliph al-Mahdi extended the mosque to the north by 50 meters (160 feet). His name was also inscribed on the walls of the mosque. He also planned to remove six steps to the minbar, but abandoned this idea, owing to this causing damage of the woods on which they were built. According to an inscription of Ibn Qutayba, the third caliph al-Mamun did unspecified work on the mosque. al mutawakkil lined the enclosure of Prophet Muhammad's tomb with marble. Al-Ashraf Kunsu al-Gawri built a dome of stone over his grave in 1476. The Rada, referred to as Al Rada Al Mudahara, covered by the dome over the southeast corner of the mosque, was constructed in 1817 CE during the reign of Sultan Mahmud II. The dome was painted green in 1837 CE and came to be known as the Green Dome. The Sultan Abdul Majid I took 13 years to rebuild the mosque, which started in 1849. Red stone bricks were used as the main material in reconstruction of the mosque. The floor area of the mosque was increased by 1,293 square meter. On the walls, verses from the Quran were inscribed in Islamic calligraphy. In the northern side of the mosque, a madrasa was built for teaching Quranic lessons. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Saudis. When Saud bin Abdul Aziz took Medina in 1905, his followers, the Wahhabis, demolished nearly every tomb dome in Medina in order to prevent their veneration, and the Green Dome is said to have narrowly escaped the same fate. They considered the veneration of tombs and places thought to possess supernatural powers as an offense against Tawhid. Prophet Muhammad's tomb was stripped of its gold and jewel ornaments, but the dome was preserved either because of an unsuccessful attempt to demolish its hardened structure, or because some time ago Ibn Abd al Wahhab wrote that he did not wish to see the dome destroyed despite his aversion to people praying at the tomb. Similar events took place in 1925 when the Saudi Ikhwans retook and this time managed to keep. The city, after the foundation of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 1932, the mosque underwent several major modifications. In 1951 King Ibn Saud ordered demolitions around the mosque to make way for new wings to the east and west of the prayer hall, which consisted of concrete columns with pointed arches. Older columns were reinforced with concrete and braced with copper rings at the top. The Sulaymaniyya and Majidiyya minarets were replaced by two minarets in Mamluk revival style. Two additional minarets were erected to the northeast and northwest of the mosque. A library was built along the western wall to house historic Qurans and other religious texts. In 1974, King Faisal added 40,440 square meters to the mosque. The area of the mosque was also expanded during the reign of King Fahd in 1985. Bulldozers were used to demolish buildings around the mosque. In 1992, when it was completed, the area of the mosque became 1.7 million square feet. Escalators and 27 courtyards were among the additions to the mosque. A $6 billion project for increasing the area of the mosque was announced in September 2012. RT reported that after the end of the work, it would accommodate 1.6 million people. In March of the following year, Saudi Gazette wrote. 95% of the demolition work has been completed. About 10 hotels to the eastern side of the expansion were leveled to the ground in addition to a number of houses and other utilities to make way for the expansion. Architecture The two-tiered mosque has a rectangular plan. The Ottoman prayer hall lies towards the south. It has a flat paved roof topped with 27 sliding domes on square bases. Holes pierced into the base of each dome illuminate the interior. The roof is also used for prayer during peak times, when the domes slide out on metal tracks to shade areas of the roof, creating light wells for the prayer hall. At these times, the courtyard of the Ottoman mosque is also shaded with umbrellas affixed to freestanding columns. The roof is accessed by stairs and escalators. 
The paved area around the mosque is also used for prayer, equipped with umbrella tents. Sliding domes and retractable umbrella-like canopies were designed by the German architect Mahmoud Bodo Rash, his firm SL Rash GmbH, and Burrow Hapold. Rada The Rada Arabic, Rada t literally, garden, is an area between the minbar and burial chamber of Muhammad. It is regarded as one of the Riyadh al Janna Arabic, Riyadh al Yana t gardens of paradise. A green carpet distinguishes the area from the rest of the mosque, which is covered in a red carpet. Pilgrims attempt to visit the confines of the area, for there is a tradition that supplications and prayers uttered here are never rejected. Access into the area is not always possible, especially during the Hajj season, as the space can only accommodate a few hundred people. Topic. Green Dome The chamber adjacent to the Rada holds the tombs of Prophet Muhammad and two of his companions, father-in-laws and caliphs, Abu Bakr and Umar ibn al-Khattab. A fourth grave is reserved for Isa Arabic, I Y say Jesus, as it is believed that he will return and will be buried at the site. The site is covered by the Green Dome. It was constructed in 1817 CE during the reign of the Ottoman Sultan Mahmud II and painted green in 1837 CE. Topic: <inaudible> Mirab. <inaudible> there are two mirabs in the mosque. One was built by Muhammad and another was built by the third Rashidun caliph Uthman. The one built by the latter was larger than that of Muhammad's and act as the functional mirab, whereas Muhammad's mirab is a commemorative Mirab. Besides the mirab, the mosque also has other niches which act as indicators for praying. This includes the mirab Fatima Arabic, mi h rab fa ati ma ti or mirab at tahajid Arabic, mi h rab al tahaju di which was built by Muhammad for the tahajid Arabic. Tahajud Topic. Minbar The original minbar Arabic, mi n ba r used by Muhammad was a wood block of date tree. This was replaced by him with a tamarisk one, which had dimensions of 50 cm x 125 cm 20 in times 49 in. Also in 629, a three-stared ladder was added to it. The first two caliphs, Abu Bakr and Umar, did not use the third step, due to respect for the Prophet. But the third caliph Uthman placed a fabric dome over it and the rest of the stairs were covered with ebony. The minbar was replaced by Baybar's eye in 1395, and later by Sheikh al Mahmudi in 1417. This was also replaced by a marble one by Kate Bay in the late 15th century, which as of August 2013, is still used in the mosque. Topic minarets The first minarets four in number of 26 feet meters high were constructed by Umar. In 1307, a minaret titled Bab al Salam was added by Muhammad ibn Kalavun, which was renovated by Mehmed IV. After the renovation project of 1994, there were ten minarets which were 104 meters feet high. The minaret's upper, bottom, and middle portion are cylindrical, octagonal, and square shaped, respectively. Topic see also Burial places of founders of world religions Destruction of early Islamic heritage sites in Saudi Arabia History of medieval Arabic and Western European domes Holiest sites in Islam Shia Holiest sites in Islam Sunni Islamic art list of mosques Topic References Topic Notes Arifan, Syed Ahmad Iskander Syed. Architectural Conservation in Islam, Case Study of the Prophet's Mosque. Penerbit UTM. ISBN 978-983-52-0373-2. Munt, Harry. The Holy City of Medina, Sacred Space in Early Islamic Arabia. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1-107-04213-1. Bibliography and further reading Fahd, Salem Bamam. Pilgrimage in Islam, A Description and Explanation of the Fifth Pillar of Islam. Modern Guide, 2014. ISBN 978-1-78338-174-6. Hazrat Muhammad the Prophet of Islam. Adam Publishers. ISBN 978-81-7435-582-9. Muhammad, Asad. The Road to Mecca. The Book Foundation, 1954. 
ISBN 978-0-9927981-0-9. Sir, Richard Francis Burton. Personal Narrative of a Pilgrimage to al Madinah and Mecca, Vol. 2. ISBN 978-0-486-21218-0. External links Complete Compendium of Masjid al Nabawi on Madain Project, Watch Live al Masjid and Nabawi, Detailed information on Masjid al Nabawi al Masjid al Nabawi, The Curious Tale of the Abyssinian Guardians of Masjid Nabawi Saw, Visiting the Prophet's Mosque, Prophet Muhammad's Mosque 360 Virtual Tour.